Hi everybody, welcome back to a fun little Python tutorial. This time I implement a movie picker. It will crawl the IMDb top charts website and randomly pick a movie for you. So if you don't know what you should watch tonight, then just let Python decide for you. So let's start. And first of all, we go to the website. So imdb.com slash chart slash top. So then we copy this URL. So this site contains the top 250 movies with the best ratings from all the users here. And so let's start and let's say URL equals and then let's paste this in here. This is the URL that we want to crawl. And first we import the things that we need. So we import random to make a random choice later. Then we import requests. So this is an awesome third party module to send get requests. If this is not already installed, then you can do this with pip by saying pip install requests in your terminal. And we also say from BS4 import beautiful soup. And we also have to install this with pip install bs4. So this is needed to parse the HTML. And now let's say if name equals equals main, because I only want to run this if this is my main uh, script, if this is my main program. And then I will call the function that is called main. So I will uh, create this here, define main. And now the first thing I want to do is to send a get request to this website. So I can say response equals requests dot get this URL. And now to get the actual HTML, we can say HTML equals response dot text. And now let's have a look at how this HTML looks like. So in our browser, if we do a right click, then we can choose to have a look at the raw HTML. And now we have to look for the movie names. So I want to get the years, then the actors, the title, so the actual movie title and the ratings. So I can tell you that the first thing that we want to look is a TD element with the name uh, title column. So for right here, so this is a table element and inside here are the information we need. So here, for example, this is the title. So it's in German because I'm in Germany. Um, and the, the actors and we can also see the year here and yeah so let's do this so let's look for this TD element with class name is title column um, and we do this with the beautiful soup so for this we say soup equals beautiful soup and this will get the HTML and this also needs the a parser so I can simply use the default parser which is called html.parser and then I can say um, movie text equals soup dot select and here I want to select TD dot title column and this must be a string so this will select all the text and the TD elements where the class name is title column so first let's get the first movie tag so let's say movie tag zero equals movie tags um, index zero and let's print our movie tag zero to see if this is running. So let's open up the terminal and say python main.py and yeah so this prints the whole TD element and now 
um, what we need. So the first thing I want to get here um, is the year. So here I can do a little trick. Um, so I can split. So this is a string and I can split the string by saying um, let's call this movie split equals movie text zero dot split and if I don't pass any argument then it will split um, with any white space that it finds so now this is split it into a list so now let's print the movie splits um, so yeah let's save this and run this so first I want to clear this and run this again um, so sorry I had a mistake Oh, I have to call movie tag dot text, of course. Now I get the string and now run this again. So now here I get the split and I will see that the year is always the last element. So I can say that year equals movie split and then I will access the last item with minus one and so this is the year and now let's have a look or let's get all the years with list comprehension so here I only did this for the very first uh, element so let's write a function and I'll call this define get year and this will get the movie tag and inside here I can say I say this so movie split equals um, movie tag dot text dot split and then the year is the last item and then I return the year return the year and here um, I can use now I use list comprehension so now I say years equals and now I say here get year tag for tag in movie tags so now I applied this function for all the tags that I found here um, now let's continue so let's print our text zero again to see what information we have here and yeah so um, we see that we have another a element in here that we can extract so let's say this is our inner tag so let's say um, inner movie tags equals soup dot select and here I can say um, TD dot title column space a so this will select this a tag or all the all these elements from the whole website and now um, we can see that inside this a tag um, so let's get the first inner tag so let's say inner movie tag equals inner movie tags to see if this is working um, and print this down here so let's say print inner movie tag and now again let's clear this and run this um, so here we have the inner tag and now we want to have the title 
And we can simply do this by saying, um, let's say title equals tag dot, uh, sorry, we have to access this. So we can do this by accessing the title here. And one other thing that we can see is that the actual text between the A tag this is the movie title. Um, so, so sorry here, I made a mistake. So this, this, these are the actors. So let's call this actors. And then I say title equals tag dot text. And let's print the actors and print the title to see if this is running. This is working. Um, now let's clear this and save this first and give this another try. And name tag. Um, of course, I have to use this in a movie tag. In a movie tag. Now let's run this again clear and run our Python th script. And then we see here, yeah, we have the actors and we have the movie title. And now we have to do this for all of the text that it found. So again, we use list comprehension here. So we say actors list equals and here we say tag with the key title for tag in inner movie tags. And then we say titles equals um, tag dot text for tag in inner movie tags. And now I have the years, the actors and the titles. And now let's also get the ratings. And for this, we have to look to have a look at the website again. And so I can tell you now the titles are hidden in a, a TD tag with the class name poster column. And then there is a span tag. And here, this span where the name equals IR. So this is the rating and uh, so let's extract this. So for this, we say rating tax equals soup dot select. And now we want to select T dot poster column and where the span we want to have the span where the name is IR, so span, and we can put this in these brackets and then name equals IR. So this will extract all these uh, uh, tags. So again, let's have a look at the very first rating tag. So let's say rating zero equals rating tags zero and let's print our rating. So print rating um, and now let's save this and clear our terminal and run this. And now it should print the very first rating. And now here we see that this is a Ban. And here inside, now we further have to extract the value. So this is in the data value attribute. So for this, we can simply access it by saying, um, by doing like this, so rating and then access data value. So let's save this and print this and or run this see what this is. So no, 
this is no underscore. So you see here I get a key error if I didn't do this, if I do not do this correctly. So one more try. And now, yeah, so this is the actual rating now. So this is a string. Can also convert this to a float. So let's do this for all the ratings. So let's say ratings equals, and now again, use list comprehension. And now we use tag, what we just put in here, tag of data value for tag in rating tags. And then we can convert this to a float here. Now we have it as floats. And yeah, so now we have all the information that we need. So let's get the number of movies equals. This is the length of our titles. And now let's make a random choice. And let's do this as long as the user uh, wants to quit. So we say while true and then let's get a random index and for this we can say index equals random from the random module dot rand range and this will start at zero and get the number of movies so this will uh, return a integer in the range from zero to the number of movies and this is not included. So this should be 250 in this case. So let's print print the number of movies to see if this is um, working. And I also want to break this so I don't want to have an infinite loop. Um, let's run this. And we see we have 250 movies. And now I get a random choice in this range. And now let's print our suggestion that our program should make for us. So print. And here I want to first print the title. So titles with this index. Then let's also print the year. So years uh, with this index, then also print the rating. So let's say rating um, and this is ratings with this index and then also say starring and then let's say we have here the actors list of this current index and now let's ask the user if he wants to continue. So let's say user input equals input and here let's say do you want um, another another movie question mark and then let's say yes or no and this should be the default so no and let's put in the question mark here at the end and the space it makes it look prettier and now let's say if user input is not equal yes so why then we want to break and now we are done. So this is the whole program. Let's clear it and let's run this. And it should print a random suggestion. And we can also already, uh, or we can format this to make the rating nicer. So here, uh, let's say this should be with only one decimal value. And now again, let's clear this. Oh, first here. Oh, I'm still in my loop. So I have to um, get out of this. So I don't want to continue. So let's clear this and let's run this. 
And now it's making a suggestion for me. It gives me the name of the movie, the rating, who is starring, also the year. And now if I want another movie, I can say yes. So yes, and it does another movie for me. The Dark Knight, for example, also a pretty awesome movie. And if I put anything, uh, type in anything else than Y for yes, um, then it will quit for me. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like it, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.